Shift our focus from the water in your home to now we're talking about public places. And if you have plans to hit the pool anytime soon, Tim has some information you need to know. Tim. Hey, good morning, guys. I went to the Croc Center in Norfolk to see what they do to make sure their pool water is safe and clean. I found out it's a full time job. As the temperatures get hotter, the community pools get more and more crowded. While you may think you're just swimming with friends, you could be swimming with a much larger crowd, the likes of which you can't see with the naked eye, bacteria, some of which could do some real harm. Thankfully, responsible pool maintenance teams and lifeguards are tasked with making sure the water is safe for you and me to enjoy. At the Croc Center Pool in Norfolk, the staff stays on top of chemical readings almost obsessively, testing every hour to make sure the pool and its water is working in tip-top shape to keep you safe. Visibility and clarity makes sure that lifeguards can clearly make out the bottom of the pool. Chemicals such as chlorine kill bacteria lurking in the water, and pH levels maintain the proper neutral alkalinity. Elizabeth Lowry is in charge of the facilities at the Croc Center. We test for all of those things and then try to make sure that we are like, you know, where the health department wants us to be um, and where it's safe for our people. Apologies if you're eating, but statistics show that for every five people in your pool, one of them is urinating. I'll spare you the math if it's a crowded pool of 100 or so, so you can see how maintaining the proper chemical balance is so important. But basically, it's just attention to detail, kind of watching the trends. Like, you can notice, like, if you've had a, a, a number of people that go through your pool, then you, the, your, the probability of your chlorine kind of dropping down a little bit is pretty high. Give me some. The number one spoiler of a fun day at the pool is a number two. Elizabeth says there is a procedure that is put in place once the floater is spotted. The pool is cleared and thoroughly cleaned. Testing is done to make sure the chemical levels are sufficiently high to ensure a safe and healthy balance has been restored before patrons are allowed back in the water. Well, before heading to your favorite pool, stay informed. When you get there, ask to see the latest pool readings. You should also ask what time they were completed at. Look for a pH around 7.4 and a chlorine reading between 1 and 3.